Friday, 545. Um, let's have everybody who's relevant sitting down and we'll uh, start to uh, sit in position. Any sit in position will do. Let's come to the front of the mat. Um, and just bring the back straight here. And bring the head up towards the sky. The crown up. The shoulders down and back. And with the fingers, you can either bring them here or at our center, whatever suits you. And let's just close the eye here. I'm just going to take some breathing. Inhaling, and counting that inhale, whatever it may be, five, six, seven, count, and let's count out that at the same exhale rate. Just keeping that up for a few breaths. Let's slow down the breathing just a little bit. And 
then exhaling down towards the ground, the green lift of the sky and bring it up. And then hands, okay, so now we hands in front. So is this anybody's first time or beginners? Awesome. Are right, you in the front row? That's what they All right. Uh, this, this is the last one, pose. Uh, your feet are going to be together here. If you're together, your toes are together, and your feet are about an inch apart. Your heels are about an inch apart. Or you can have them hip distance apart here. Whatever you prefer, your shoulders are coming down away from the ears, not the back. You're tucking the sitting bone underneath you. It's going to tighten up the stomach. Bring this back up 
to avoid. And then opening the front right hand towards the sky, left leg or left hand down the leg, exhale back, straight back, who's up the warrior. See if we bring the toes up here. It's going to change the whole stance. That's kind of where you want to be the whole time. So we do that balance of both feet. And let's wheel the hands forward, planning, push up plank position, and exhaling down, all the way down to that cobra, halfway down, three quarters from upward dog, pushing up, shoulders away from the ears, and exhaling back, downward facing dog. And let's continue to the other side. Let's bring the left foot up. And planting that left foot between the thumbs, standing on those ground toes, grounded in the back, and then just bringing up the upper body. Talk about sitting bone, make sure that right hips coming forward. And bring the hands up here. the right of the left foot. Once we're there, let's peel up that left side, that left shoulder. Uh, 
And let's bring the feet together. Let's bring that right foot up towards the sky. And let's plant that right foot between the thumbs. And then coming down with the left knee for a low lunge, let's plant the left and right hand just to the left of the right foot. And then taking this right foot, bringing it out six, maybe eight inches. And then let's look behind it. So check this left knee is it. It's left foot legs and coming straight up from behind and maybe check the, the mat and see if you're angling off. It's a good indicator. If not, push that back a little bit more. And then let's inhale to a straight back here. And then exhaling down, keeping this knee into the body. So it's going to want to come out here and just coming down as low as you're able. You can stay right here or you can bring this right shoulder up and grab a hold of this right thigh just doing a little outward rotation and then pulling up that right shoulder. This knee should still be pushing towards you.
Let's bring this back. Planning for hands and knees here. Get those knees back just a bit, and then pushing back to that downward dog. Okay, let's look up at the hands. Hop, skip, walk to the front. Inhaling up halfway. Exhaling down towards the ground, and then bring it up to the sky and the inhale. And exhaling through. Again, again, right away, inhaling up. Exhaling down. Up halfway. And let's plant those hands, one into the door vinyasa. Fold out for a dog. Inhaling up. Shoulders down. And exhaling back. And everybody from here, you can see me dumping the shoulders down here, if we can bring that shoulders away from that head, bring that head up just a little bit more, yeah, that's good. And then exhaling back. All right, let's bring the right foot up. Let's plant between the thumbs. And then immediately bring that left foot down, 45 degrees or less, heel and toes in line, and then kneeling right up to a warrior two. Take the hands, bring the hand back. Let's take a good inhale, bring the shoulders down. And then taking this right armpit, bring it towards the right knee. And then bring the hands coming over the head. Exhaling 
down the dog in the end. If you push it up here, if you feel on the last strap. Okay, good. Let's bring the left foot up this time. And then planting that left foot between the thumbs. Let's bring that right foot down, planting the right foot and then wheeling those hands over the floor here too.
wide or hip distance apart, let's bring this right foot up towards the sky. And then planting this right foot just about behind the right wrist. And then this, this left foot, we're just going to come towards the front of the mat, off, mat off the side. Let's just bring that straight down to the ground. Your hips should stay forward since you're not rotating on that foot. So we'll automatically be in a warrior A. Let's bring those hands up. Let's see if we can bend a little bit more to that front right knee. Left is straight and strong. Excellent. And let's open up the hands, rotating that left foot, opening up to the side, opening the hands up for a warrior two. You might have to inch this right foot just a little bit and we'll pull that up. And then opening the right hand, left, down the leg, and send it back to the result of warrior. This time we're going to wheel the hands forward and we're going to plant them just in front of our right foot and then launching off this right leg, we're going to send the left up towards the sky for standing splits. We're going to bring this chin towards the right knee. You can straighten the knee here, you can bend the knee, whatever works for you. Let's start bringing this chin towards the right knee. And 
and kneeling forward, finding this hands into the right in front of you, straightening that left knee or keeping it a little bit tense, and then exhaling towards that chin, towards that left knee. Dead back right foot 45. We went back to warrior two. Head exalted. We are going back through to find these hands. Pushing that right foot towards the sky. Let's go for a warrior three. Let's straighten this left knee. Get a good ground in that left foot. And start to bring the hands up, possibly to the heart center. Taking that wire towards the sky. Maybe a slight arch in the front. And taking any of the variations that you enjoy here.
let's, uh, let's take another look at the pitch before we do this. I think that's an important part we shouldn't miss. So let's uh, let's bring the feet well hip distance apart down there. And we're going to bring this right foot up towards the sky. A little bit of core involved here. Let's take the right knee, bring it towards this right elbow. On the inhale. Now let's exhale that out. And then taking this right knee towards the center of the body. Bringing it out. Inhaling left knee to the left elbow. Out. Back to the left elbow. Out. Center. Out. And then the right elbow, we're just going to hold it. See if we can hold it for five breaths. And when we get through with that five, fifth breath, you can take the shin. We're going to set it for pigeon pose. Let's set it. Ideally, you want this shin 90 degrees, get it as close to as that as possible. You want this heel pointed, you want this left leg coming straight out from behind you. Again, you can check the mat, kind of gives you a good indication. And then we're going to sink into those hips a little bit more, perhaps. The other ones, see if we can ground that same bone possible. And then inhaling, straightening. Let's start to bring this down with the exhale. So focus on that right hip that's opening up. You can send the breath there. Center. Out. Left elbow and hold. 
and see if we can do this for five rounds. That shin over. Looking for 90 degrees, get as close as you can. Maybe bring that right foot back. Check the uh, that it's parallel with the side. Let's see if we can get that hip down any farther. Let's inhale it up. And then just exhale down. Almost down here. OK, 
Okay, the new one's knees up, let's hold. Let's see if we can get the feet up straight up towards the ceiling or as close as possible. If your lower back's not on the ground, then you want to bring the legs down a little bit more and then straight. And that's kind of where you're at. You can meet your hands behind your head or you can bring them to a small of your back, like a diamond that totally helps this way to the ground. But from here, we're going to bring the feet down halfway to the ground and hold. And just inches off the ground and hold. All the way up. Halfway. Couple inches off the ground. And up. Just gonna do two more legs. Halfway. Two inches. One more. Halfway. Two inches. All the way up. Ah. All right. So bring those knees into the body. Maybe happy baby here. Grabbing the outsides of the feet. And just rotating back and forth. It's way up this. Let's take this right knee, right foot down to the ground. Let's take the left knee in, and then grabbing this with your right hand, let's bring this right, left knee all the way over to the right side, seeing if you can touch down. And then taking this right arm, bring it up, and then bring it all the way down to the left, looking over that left shoulder. And the back is going to be this left shoulder and this left knee coming down. So it's a good balance here. It's great for the organs and intestines. Really good deep hops pose. Sleep this left knee up. It's right behind that thigh here on the hamstring. Point the left heel, point the right heel, and then start to pull in here. The shoulders will come off the ground and this chin will start to go towards this left knee. And let's bring that down. And then we'll bring the right knee up this time. And then taking the right knee all the way over to the left side, touching down. Your right knee is going to come out to the T to the right, looking over that right shoulder.
close out the practice, so we're running out of time. If there's a uh, post that we weren't able to get to, uh, we didn't, we weren't able to get to a conversion, so uh, feel free to try that out now. Otherwise, let's uh, prepare for final Shavasana. And if you've never taken final Shavasana before, that's just lying flat on the back. Your feet are just out in front of you. Just play it off to the side, those are coming out. Your hands are on the floor, facing up, maybe 20, 30 degrees out from the body. See some of this is super fast, so that's great. Let's let go of any controlled breathing. We can start with the feet, possibly uh, looking for intention, releasing anything along the way, coming out each body part. Any thoughts coming through, recognizing, possibly pushing more out. Let's just take a few moments here.